I'm gonna question the next quiz. Sure, can't wait. Okay, can't use two cannon, gotcha. You could work, okay. I have no idea what Pokemon could help us. Maybe Machamp. I don't know what Pokemon could help us. I haven't really seen a Pokemon that could help us get that ball down. Because that's what I'm looking for right now. I'm just looking for a Pokemon that can help us. I didn't know I had to talk to the tree. Apom. I see Apom of... I see the Apom of Rhyme City are as energetic as ever. Say, this, these Pokemon are good at climbing trees, aren't they? You think one of them could retrieve the, uh, the guy's ball? Oh, that's a great idea. Hey, Apom, I was wondering if you could help us. Do you think you get the ball down from up on a rooftop? Please, Avon, you're the only one who can help. All right. Oh, look, there it goes. I think we managed to get our feelings across. I hope it manages to get that ball down. Let's go see. I like how Rachel did not make a big fuss about me understanding Pikachu. Oh, you, you're the two from earlier. Guess what? After you left, an Apom appeared and got the ball mm -hmm. for me. So it helps you out after all. Glad to hear it. Ah, I figured you send it over. It was such a huge help. My, my, it was such a huge help. My kids will be so happy now. Though I better give them a stern talk or two about taking care of their things. Ah, don't go too hard on them. Kids will be kids. Let kids be kids. Looks like April wants to play with the ball too. Oh, do you want to play with my kids? They'd be so happy to have an Apom for a friend. Looks like you're happy with making new friends too, Apom. And then Apom steals the ball and fucks off. I've talked to you already. Talk to you. Now I guess I just need to go down the list of who I haven't talked to yet. I haven't talked to you yet? Do you know a man named Brad McMaster who works for the Rhyme City Police? He's tall and typically wears a blue suit and he's an absolute prick! Oh, he just came by, came to see me earlier. He asked me to tell him about Impidimp. That man is doing the same investigation we are. So I told him well, everything. How much Impidimp loves playing pranks, his fondness for shiny things, stuff like that. The lieutenant was actually... Was a really good listener. He took it all very seriously, but I never figured out exactly why he was asking me all that. I see. Thanks again for your help. So, Brad was asking about an impidimp who'd already been detained. Just what is Brad up to? He's doing the same stuff we are. We're on the. Surprisingly enough, we're on the same team. Let me guess. He also asked about the. Uh, Oh my god, this is only day two. I feel like I have been on day two for the past hour and a half. Is that true? How many days are there to this stuff? Excuse me. Thanks for your help earlier. Do you mind if I ask you some more questions? Also, frame rate is dropping, at least no BS. About my Italian? No, this is about something else. Did anything strange happen today after we talked? Italian has come back, has he? No, he hasn't. I think he's still at the police station. I sh I shop. The shop sure is lonely without Italian. It's hard to tell for sure, but I think even the flowers are drooping a bit. Dan is always such a took such good care of them. I really hope he can come home soon. Do you know a man called Brad McMaster who works for the Rhyme City Police? Tall and typically okay. Oh yes, Lieutenant just left. In fact, really, do you know what he was doing here? The same thing as you and actually investigating the flower display and telling him the most accused of vandalizing. I couldn't make out what, but he was muttering to himself the whole time. Just like at the Found Plaza, Brett sure spends a lot of time returning to the scene of the crime. Well, the crimes that have already been solved, that is. Okay, yeah, I can close these up. Good. But why is he investigating these crimes after the Pokemon have already been detained? It really makes me wonder. There was one more person. You. Excuse me. Thanks for up earlier. Do you mind if I ask you some more questions? 
Oh, but I told you everything I know. No, 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 no. It's something about something else. Did anything? Not really. I was so shocked, but after they took more Becca from me, that I couldn't find the motivation to do anything else with my day. Did you try going to the police station? You might be able to visit more Becca there. Oh, that that thought never even occurred to me. I'll try this thing tomorrow. Good. Do you know a man named Brad? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey, I just met him. He came to ask me some questions. All right, what about... Do you have to make noise? You fucking have to make noise. Oh, really? What about? About what? The, uh, sorry, the, the, the dog distracted me. The lieutenant asked me for details on Marpeka's ability. I feel like Brad and I are gonna become partners on this one. So I explained how Marpeka's appearance and the typing of its aura wheel move changes depending on whether he's hungry or full. Maybe Brad came to see the con to the same conclusion we did, Tim. Doesn't make sense for Marpeka's aura wheel to have been electric type if he was hungry when he used it. That's true, then what exactly is Brett trying to do? Solve the case. Here we go, let's begin deducing. Oh. Let's begin deducing. Mm -hmm. I've collected a good amount of information about Brad. Now it's time to organize the thing. There's only one. <laughs> There's only one option. Come on, man. At least with the other ones, she gave me multiple options. Okay. You could have just said he's incompetent, he's doing his own investigation. Or like a third option. If Brad were the one giving orders to Ditto, there'd be no reason for him to go around asking questions after the Tanny Pokemon. So you think Brad's just investigating the incident like we are? Yeah, I do. And that he fucking is. Bam. But we still need this one. And we still know nothing. All oh, right, now I need to interview people about the. Have we gotten any better? Yeah, it's coming quickly. Thanks, Indeedy. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Remember, helping each other out in times of need is a secret to a long life. Look, man, I don't know who else I need to talk to. I talk to you. The two police officers. Okay. Top of the morning, Pumpkaboo. If danger, yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Oh my God! Did you? Uh, uh, did anything unusual happen in the city today? Hmm, well, there were a number of incidents. Would you like me to tell you about each one? This is. An this thing them all could take a while. No, I don't need that much detail. I'm just looking for more general information. Sorry to trouble you. It sounds like your department is really busy. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Anything to protect the peace of the refined city. Excuse me. Do you happen to know Lieutenant McMaster? Yes, of course. The lieutenant has really been throwing himself into his work lately. The one weird thing I've noticed, though, is that recently he's been going out and working on his own. Why are you doing this? At the start of, uh, and at the scenes of crimes have already been solved at that. I don't need that. I, oh. <laughs> I was supposed to talk to these people before. <laughs> Why would we do something like that? I mean, I could tell you. Is it true that the cube-shaped devices will... You use cube-shaped devices when you're detaining Pokemon? Ah, oh, you must mean the management tags. What makes a management tag different from any other tag? I'm really not sure. I think they're really high tech or something. I mean, they're machines after all. They've probably got a little computer inside or something. Oh my god. Really? Do you know anything specific about their function? Well, I'm ashamed to say, but not really. I think the higher ups at the PPB know how they work, though. I would have thrown one on the fucking floor and figured out how it worked. Excuse work. me. Good evening. May I ask you some questions? Is something the matter? About uh, the situation, did anything unusual happen in the city today? What do you mean by unusual? I mean, we respond to incidents every day. And with so many Pokemon-related incidents lately, it 
Feels like things are anything but usual. Sounds like a lot to deal with. It may be a lot, but it's my job. All I can do is keep doing my best. Don't care. I don't care about Excuse this either. Me. Do you happen to know Lieutenant McMaster? Of course, we work together on a regular basis. He excels at performing his duty. His investigations are so thorough and efficient that Pokemon are detained almost as fast as the case is itself is opened. In fact, Lieutenant McMaster has a highest crime clearance rate in the entire department. He's still nothing compared to me. Oh, this is where I would have gotten the other option where it's like he's just trying to increase his credit or whatever. So highly regarded. Now about the important stuff. Through the use cube saved. Oh yeah, those things. We got orders from the PPB to attach them to Pokemon. How do those devices function? Who knows? They never really gave us any details. Come on, dude. I don't know who else to talk to. That was the only person left. Maybe you. Back for Fist of Pikachu again, are you? Are you sure you're passionate about this case? Me? Actually, this is not why I'm here. Can I ask you a question or two? I'm very passionate about this case, actually. Did anything strange happen in the city? I don't know if I'd necessarily call it strange, but there have been several Pokemon-related incidents. At this rate, they're going to fill up every detainment room we've got. That must be pretty stressful for the Pokemon. If they're stressed, they can work it out during their daily exercise time. Mm -hmm. Thanks for letting us know about Lieutenant McMaster. No trouble at all. What did you need him for anyway? Oh, I just remember. I just remembered something about the incident Pikachu was involved in. I thought like to help with the investigation, so I wanted to tell Lieutenant in person. Understood. Thanks for reporting wherever you can. Do you know anything about those cube-shaped devices that are being put on Pokemon as they are detained? All those things. I hear they're management tags. I don't quite understand how they work, but they're pretty interesting. The moment a Pokemon is outfitted with a device, it goes with the police without resistance. Viva la resistance! Really? The Pokemon do that on their own? Yes, it's much safer than when they aren't violent. Let's think. Uh. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I saw Pikachu. Yes. I saw Pikachu and I was like, ooh. I like how I got added information for this because of these two that I didn't talk to before. But I solved the case. Begin deducing! Mm -hmm. Time to figure out what the CubeSage device really are. Controlling Pokemon! Okay. Also, my chair is creaking. Fuck. Those devices might actually be capable of controlling Pokemon. You really think so? I do. We don't have any evidence yet, of course, but it seems the way that way based on what we've heard. If that's true, then Ditto was forced to obey someone else's orders. Yeah, that's terrible. And technically, this is all your papa's doing. How are the Pokemon being controlled? If the person orchestrating the crime was controlling Nido, how were they able to give it the orders? Based on all the witness statements so far, it's not clear whether Ditto was directing if whether anyone was directing Ditto's actions. True, but there had to have been someone at the crime scene talking directly to Ditto, right? Yeah, I can't really think of any other method they could have used. Maybe an a witness saw someone giving out orders. Yeah, we should ask around. Okay. Now that we know Brandon's a culprit, we got a tip about Ditto too. We should tell Pikachu as soon as we can. At night? Would they even let us see him? The officer at the reception desk said we could visit up twice a day. As long as the station is open, I think it'll be fine. Pikachu! I'm coming for you! I thought it was twice in the afternoon. That's where the whole problem came from. I thought it was twice in the afternoon. Hello, I know it's like 3 a.m., but I need to see Pikachu. Man, it's 3 a.m., I'm just supposed to be in bed. Would you like to visit Pikachu now? Yes! Triple yes! Quadruple yes! Ultimate of the yesness. Pikachu. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, we're now playing as Pikachu. I'm 
in the entertainment room. Great, back again to missing memories. A mystery for another time. Right now, my goal is the chief's office on the second floor. There was a duct in his office, but it doesn't seem to be connected to the ones down here in the entertainment. I have to hurry up to the first floor and search for a duct that connects to the chief's office. I guess I'll go see Luxray first, though. I can look for a duct leading to the chief's office after that. Are you heading out to explore the station again? Yeah, we should. We found a room that looks important, so I'm gonna rustle up some clues. Well, considering you passed my treasure hunt test with flying colors, I bet you'll come back with something amazing and share with us. To share with Great us. Detective tip number five. Did I hear this one? Piece together all the little bits I barely of heard this one. You've kept me waiting. How's the investigation going? It's going and relax. This is one great detective you can count on. Great detective, I swear I've heard that somewhere. Yes. I swear to God, when I move around in my chair, I hear like a ticking noise. My mic picks it up too. But I can't sit still, I always need to move around. Hmm. See which room should I go to. Also, All right, it might have... Go slow, okay? I, it it might have been because of my dog, because I've had my dog. <laughs> It, it might have been because of my dog, because I have my dog on my lap, and then there might be too much weight for the chair to handle, which is fucking stupid. The chair should be able to handle it. So if you hear ticking noises, I'm beyond sorry, but I can't fix that. You're going out investigating again, are you not? If only I could fit through those ducks, I'd s I'm certain I'd be able to help too. Thanks, it's the thought that counts. You know what? Yeah. Where are we gonna... When are we gonna get out of here? That depends on the info I can find. I'm heading out right after this. I'm dying to see my partner, so you better pull it through. Oh, I will pull through. Don't worry about it. What is it? Do you need my help again? Thanks for the offer, but we... Dude, you wouldn't be able to get through the ducks. My plan is to take a... My plan is to take him up to the first floor and aim for the chief's office. Then I suppose I'll just... I'll have... To I'll just have to leave that to you. Yep, you can count on me. Oh, yeah, when I talked to Tim earlier, I passed on the me your message about my Diana. Ah, thank you. Hey, no sweat. Now just hang tight until our next visit, and I'll find you in... I'll fill you in on his report. To the first floor, boys! Let's see, which room should I go to? The first floor. Maybe we'll get Come a... Come on, Lightbird. You got this? Oh, so nice hearing Pikachu's voice again. Feels like it's been forever. Once again, I didn't know what she said, but whatever. Who cares? Where am I? Is it the office? Oh, I'm in the office. Well, now. I'm on the first floor. There are lots of police officers up here. If they spot me, I'll get thrown right back into the entertainment room. Anyway, where should I go? Oh my god, I have to... I have to be stealthy. Stealth Master is back at it again! However, I kind of wish I could just go with this for a little bit longer. Motherfucker, what? Looks like there's a duck way back there. Based on the floor plans, I'm guessing that duck should connect to the chief's office. Guess there's no point in standing around. Muscles don't fail me now. I can't save the game. I have to finish this up first. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know if I can walk right now. <laughs> okay, so I could have walked anyway. Wow, okay. I can't save the game right now. I need to find a point where I can actually save. I was gonna end it here. Oh boy. Where do you go? Oh, you just stand there and do fuck all. Oh. In a bit, bitch! Oh! Where did he come from? Who invited you to the party? Now the woman's gonna turn around so I can't move anyway. That was awkward. Dude, this is a 3DS game that they put on the Switch.
What are you doing? You're blocking the way, you fool! And a bit different. Alright. I think I can make it break for it now. Perfect. Haha, <laughs> they vanished. Made it to the duct. Guess I gotta climb up there. I really I just hope it really does connect to the chief's office. Well, here goes nothing. Well, I gotta do this before I can end the recording. I'm also starting to get super tired. <sighs> Why are they all so high up? There's a ladder next to you. Stop complaining. Shorter. I was hoping it would make you thinner. Finally out of there. It's gotta be the chief's office. Just look at it. Looks like my little stealth mission was a success. Master of stealth and master detective. What can't Pikachu do? As expected. Now let's find out what you're really up to, butler. Next time, by the way, because... Uh, well, we gotta override this save file. Alright, so thank you all so very much for watching. When we come back next time, we shall be investigating Butler's office and learning about what he is truly up to and potentially find a ditto. Because it's gotta be somewhere in this building. And if it's not in this office, I have no idea where it's supposed to be. But with that being said, if you guys have enjoyed, if you did, please like and subscribe if you're new if you've done so already. Turn on notifications and as always, stay tuned for more. Bye!